in the preceding video I've showed that with this simple circuit here you can make a high voltage generator and it's possible to use all kinds of transformers. So now I uh, made a demonstration circuit with a ferrite transformer and it's very easy to make. It's a piece of ferrite here. One centimeter is the diameter and there are um, a pr there is a primary coil and a secondary one and the primary is 40 turns 40 and the secondary one uh, 100 turns. So in fact there is not a high ratio between the primary and the secondary but because it's in resonance uh, you can expect uh, enough voltage on the secondary side. And you can see that this small LED, it's a red one, lights up properly on um, this very small high voltage transformer. And the circuit is already published in earlier videos, but now I've made the back coupling capacitor a 10 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. And the reason is that with a higher value it doesn't work properly, it doesn't want to oscillate. But of course you can do experiments and when you change the value <coughs> from the back coupling capacitor the frequency will go down or go up but it's something to do experiments with. Here we set the working point. Again, it's a Darlington. This is the primary and this is the secondary. And this is the waveform. On the secondary side of the transformer. And in this video I also want to show some properties from this circuit. It works now on 3.2 volts. But when we raise the voltage, I'm going to do that now, we can see that the waveform changes. And also here there is a very complex waveform. And that is on 7.2 volts. Here you will find a lot of noise on your radio or tuner generated by this simple uh, ferrite transformer. This is typical for uh, a lot of noise. It's a complex waveform. And here you can also see that when I raise the voltage the current that the whole circuit draws suddenly goes up. And when you do experiments with this, these kinds of circuits you will find that suddenly the current can uh, raise to one ampere or so and your transistors are damaged. So that's something to take in account. Especially when you get complex waveforms or waveforms with uh, high peaks. So this is a stable waveform and this is uh, 3 volts and now the whole circuit works properly and when we go down to 1.9 volt we have more or less a sine wave and now the whole circuit stops. So the voltage is very critical in these kinds of circuits these simple oscillators. Uh, here you see the whole circuit again. Now it was made and I'm gonna change the voltage again now. So it goes up and it goes down and here you can also see that the LED lights up but not very stable. And here the whole circuit stops. And here suddenly the oscillation starts and the LED lights up. When you take another turns ratio from the transformer, you will get a much higher voltage here. 
but now it's only uh, let's say 40, 40, 40 turns to 100 turns so the voltage uh, will go up to let's say 5 volts or so and this is the waveform the minimum voltage on which the whole circuit works depends on the, the turns ratio from the transformer so when you change this uh, you will find another voltage here on the secondary side. And the frequency where it works is not clear to me. Here you can see the counter this is 389 kilohertz. But when I connect the uh, burst connection from the counter to the circuit, you will see that it's 4.06. And uh, I've uh, listened this with the signal tracer, and it's not 4 kilohertz, so perhaps it's 4 megahertz. I can't find it out properly. I have to do more tests and more measurements to find out where this circuit really works. But you can see that there is still uh, an oscillation. So this is a circuit, a demonstration circuit. Uh, with which you can get all kinds of transformers uh, to function. Um, please keep in mind that when you connect the back coupling capacitor to the base, um, this connection is important. It has to do with the phase. There are two phases here on the secondary side of the transformer. So when you connect it here, it can oscillate. And when you connect it here, it doesn't oscillate. So that's important when you do uh, experiments with this circuit. Wish you luck.